Welcome everyone, my name is Nicole Carletti and it's a pleasure to be here in the uh, New Process Boat. Uh, we are here in the International Production and Processing Expo 2025 and next to me is Fergus Neher who is the Sales Director for Europe. Uh, thank you very much to be here. Thank you Nicole. Well, Fergus, we want to talk about uh, some topics about Nubroxa, but first we want to talk about uh, what is the importance to be here today in this exposition. Yeah, because it's, a, it's an international fair, we have lots of international visitors from not just the US, but also a lot from Latin America and also some from Europe as well, so which, is, which is quite nice, so we've, we've been pretty busy. So. Well, now we want to talk about uh, Nubroxa and the products uh, that they have. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are the main limitations of uh, choline chloride in animal nutrition? There are a lot, <laughs> so this may take a while, but the main one is really that um, in many, uh, many, many production uh, facilities, uh, the hygroscopicity of the product is a, is a real issue. Uh, for, for producers, has been a real issue for many, many years. <laughs> But also, uh, choline chloride uh, damages vitamins, so storage time is, is an issue at some times. And so there are there are quite a few, and, and it's caused a lot of problems in, in, in production over the years. Yeah. Can you explain what is the importance or the function of a, a natural B4? Uh, yeah, basically, what it does is uh, natural B4. It actually allows producers to avoid some of those issues that they've had in the past and continue to have uh, in a way that is as efficient uh, and in some cases even better than uh, what they've been used to over the last 50 years. There's been really no, no research has been done on, significant research has been done on choline chloride in the last 50 years and uh, the last 10 or 15 years and actually before has been, uh, has been uh, used a lot in, in productions and continues to grow and so because it avoids a lot of problems in the production. Um, for example, what sets not to be for uh, apart from other choline alternatives such as uh, beta ions and lecithins uh, in terms of performance? If you look at um, choline chloride, choline chloride has uh, se several functions uh, to cover basically there's four metabolic functions. Uh, if you say for instance if you take betaine uh, betaine covers only one of those functions. So in terms of uh, replacing natural B4, uh, you can use natural B4 to completely replace choline chloride. And you can also use natural B4 to completely replace betaine or uh, use it together actually with betaine as well because betaine, the function of remethylation of betaine is also an important function. So we, we in, in, in the field, we actually use the two, uh, the two functions as not one that uh, that we recommend there uh, but but if you want to you can just take out all the all the product uh, all the choline chloride and replace it 100 percent with natural before and what does natural before uh, contributes to increase the animal productivity uh, well naturally depending on what dosage you use natural before right it also has some metabolic functions especially looking at uh, energy repartitioning um, which uh, Basically, you could not use the choline chloride at that level. You would run into a lot of problems in your feed because of the, uh, the, 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 the corrosiveness of the product. And uh, the, with, with Natural Before, you have the ability to use uh, at, at higher dosages. And so you can actually even use uh, Natural Before to some extent as a growth promoter or as a, as a product to, to improve your repartitioning of, of energy. In, in animals, in, in all, across all species, actually. Perfect. Uh, do you want to say a final message for all the people that are seeing now? Uh, yeah, basically, uh, there's really no no excuse to continue to use choline chloride, in, at least in our opinion. Uh, we, we have an alternative that is uh, well tested in the field. We've done a lot of international and uh, scientific studies and uh, there's really no reason to continue to use a uh, 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 metabolite or metabolite that is, is, is really causing a lot of problems in, in the production uh, facilities. So, yeah, so, so naturally before is a real alternative in that respect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, thank, you. thank you so much for all people for watching this video. And see you later. Thank you.